sex, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such Hey, the Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you No, we overdo what you're doing right now, right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash land. We could keep the pace on slow jam. Don't leave me on red. Can we go back? All we have is the moment Just text I know it's a toss I'm back with another unit from Icy Hair. So this is what the wig looks like straight out of the packaging on my head because I want to show you guys that um, this is how flawless it looks. So as you can see there, you can see that there's nothing done to the lace. So I had got a email from one of my subscribers and she was upset because she said that the lace did not blend into her skin at all. And then she later on explained to me that she is new to wearing wigs. So I was able to tell her like exactly what she didn't do or what she did wrong, but it's gonna look like this straight out of the package. What you have to do with any wig is go in with either your foundation or some type of lace tint. So I'm gonna be going in with lace tint. I just put it on to show you guys that when you first put it on initially, uh, it's gonna look pretty good, but no, it's not gonna blend in 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lace tint on and then come back and show you guys the difference that it makes. So you guys can see now that I have the lace tint on, or now that I have tinted my lace, this is what it's looking like. And by the way, you guys, this is a six by nine uh, closure wig. So it's nine inches across and six inches back. So basically um, it is giving almost frontal because it stops right here. So as you guys can see, there's just a little piece of my edges right there, just for reference, which that is actually perfectly fine. I actually prefer that, especially um, now that I like to kind of pull that area out. I'm just gonna let you guys watch me. I'm not even gonna say install it, but just kind of fix the hair to my liking, and then I will come back and tell you guys all about it. We was raised a little different. Used to be ashamed who I was, now I'm paid by the sinning. Taking my time with it. Baby, give me yours So I could get them butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me with a text, voice, note, or an emoji Waiting on day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in And we could keep the face on slow jam. Don't leave me on bread Can we go back where we first began? All we have is the moment Just text I know it's a toss Okay, so this is what the wig looks like thus far with me just tinting the lace and using a little bit of mousse on the curls. I didn't want to go in and fully saturate this hair because I knew that it was going to take a minute for it to dry to get back to this natural fullness again. So this is 26 inches and I do have an in 180% density. And you guys, this hair is definitely true to length with curly hair. You have to stretch it out to get a desired length. No, it doesn't look like 24 or 26 inches right now, but once the hair is stretched, you guys can see it actually touches my waist area here. This is one of their new wigs. They're calling this one in particular their M cap wig. It is supposed to be a lot better, like an upgraded version from their previous wigs. But honestly, if you guys haven't seen my last video that I've done on this hair company, I don't expect it to 
um, be anything less than what I got before. So I'll go ahead and go over some of the upgrades and put some pictures here on the screen from their website so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about since the wig is technically already on my head. So for starters, this is a wear and go water wave wig. Like I did mention, this is a nine by six lace structure, which means bigger lace, more opportunity for you to part it down the middle, part it on the side, and just a little bit more flexibility because it's basically almost the size of a front sole. And you guys already know how they do. They have um, these new pre bleach well, the pre bleaching of the knots isn't new, but these wigs have more tinier knots on them than their previous wigs. So in addition to the knots being super tiny, they also did go ahead and pre pluck the hairline. Um, this is also an HD lace wig, and their HD lace does never disappoints. You no longer have to worry about the wig cap covering your ear, it now lays perfectly. Uh, flat and seamless because they kind of already cut it out for you the way that the cap is constructed I believe they're calling it like the C shape around the ears So it's very comfortable. Like I said, it's not in the way it's not sitting on top of my ear Not even in the slightest bit. It is a medium cap size So although I am a size small all I did was go ahead and use the adjustable straps and like I showed you guys prior in the packaging It does also come with removable combs now. I only have the one in the back Okay, so I just kind of threw it in this like little flip over method. I tried to do like a half up, half down, but then it would require some type of adhesive and I wanted to keep the overall theme and a purpose of this wig, which is it being glueless. So I didn't do that, but just know if you wanted to do a style like that, you're gonna need some type of holes. So that's where you're gonna get your bolt hole liquid gold or the even lace spray or better yet lace glue so that this wig does not move at all because I tried to and the wig kept shifting and stuff even with it having the combs and the elastic band so that hairstyle was a no. So now on to what I feel like are the pros and cons of this wig. So the pros is everything that I talked about before the fact that it is fully customized it has a great um what, do you, what I want to call it like wig cap structure to it the hair is super soft um, like I said, the hairline and all the customization that, that they did is literally to perfection as always. And, um, I don't really have any cons with this hair. This hair is super soft thus far. I will say that I did get a little bit of shedding, but the curly textures tend to do that. So that's nothing to be alarmed about. I do think that this hair is going to hold it very nicely. Prior to me picking this hair texture from them, I did kind of do my research and watch some other people's reviews on it. So I'm, um, fingers crossed that this wig is going to hold up perfectly fine with no problem. So the ends of the hair are not dry or anything. And as you guys can see, the curl pattern is pretty consistent from the root all the way to the ends of the hair. And when I say I barely put any mousse on it, I just put some mousse on it here or there. I didn't really even put it on the entire wig, especially not the back, just kind of what you could see here in the front. So yeah, this particular unit gets a nine out of 10 for me. And I'm only saying that because I wish that there was another option other than 180, because as you guys can see, this is a lot of hair. Now, if you don't mind this much hair, that's fine. But for me, I like it toned down just a tiny bit, but I don't even know if that's really worth me knocking a uh, rating off of there, but it's a good wig overall. Like I said, I did my research on it. I know that it's probably going to hold up pretty well. So if you find yourself being interested in this wig, I will leave it linked for you guys down below as well as some of my other previous wear and go wigs. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to have like a lot of these coming just because a lot of hair companies are coming out with them. And so I'm curious to try like the different ones from different companies to see which ones that I would recommend to you guys and which ones I feel like you can uh, save your money on. I don't want you getting the ones that I feel like are either too expensive or not worth your purchase so if you haven't already make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future uploads if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time